Today, we continue our journey with this and with this to bring off-road communication into the 21st century. Today is part two of building an off-grid vehicle tracking system for off-road groups. We are gonna go do some field testing and then I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the app that I wanna build to make all of this tech useful to you guys. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss the next video that comes out on this series for this project. If you missed part one, here's a bit of a recap of what we're doing. We're taking this radio here that has been customized to mount to the window of a vehicle and we are hooking it up to every vehicle that is in the group for an off-road run. And then these radios build a mesh network with each other, allowing the vehicles in the back to reach the vehicles in the front by having the vehicles in between relay the message. Each radio has GPS built into it so you can have location tracking and it has a Bluetooth radio that can, you can use to connect to an app to view the information. So let's review the final goals of this product and where we're at in that list. First off, we want 10 miles of range in an open field or line of sight. And we passed with flying colors on that last time. Next, we want one mile of range in a canyon area and that passed as well but we're also enhancing on that and trying to make it better. We'll talk about it. We also want support for 10 to 15 and maybe even 20 vehicles. We're not there yet. And we want fast update, meaning we want between 50 and 45 seconds to receive information about the location of each vehicle in the run. Now for this field test, we ran with a group of Raptors 150 miles off-road in an area close to Moab, Utah called the San Rafael Swell. This run had about 20 Raptors and took us through open plains, slot canyons, switchbacks, and beautiful red rock that Utah is known for. Now there were three key things that we were testing today. First, we have an updated version of Meshtastic. That's the open source software that's been running these radios on the LoRa long range wireless network. This new version is supposed to help make a lot more vehicles or radios work inside of the situation that we have, which if you remember was the exact problem we had in our last field test in Moab, that we had too many vehicles that were communicating and none of them could get messages through. So hopefully we've been able to fix that. And this time we'll be testing with 10 vehicles so half of the 20 trucks have been retrofitted with a tracking radio. We also have a new roof mounted antenna setup that we wanna put both at the front and the back for the leaders to get just a little bit of extra range when they need it. We will also be testing out a new, more stable version of the Mesh-tastic reference app that allows us to monitor the network as the trucks are moving so we can see what's working and what's not. So let's get some shots in of this great run. Success. All right, so we were able to resolve a lot of the issues, if not all of the issues that we had in Moab with vehicles not communicating or us losing contact with one of them or there being too many vehicles in one spot, didn't happen this time. Now, we did have two units with bad batteries, so we were only tracking eight of the 10 that we could have. But through 150 miles of canyons, off-road, hills, valleys, you name it, we were able to track all the vehicles the whole time and get it very reliable to always know where everybody was at. 
This time around, we had another situation where one of the individuals didn't know which turn to make oh. and didn't see the truck in front of him, which turn he made, and we are able to pull up on the map and I was able to guide a section of the group back to the main group so that nobody got lost. Now, each radio is configured to report its location from the radio every 30 seconds. And while sometimes you might miss a message here or there because of a big hill or going around a turn, there never was more than about 90 seconds with having an updated message and location from every single truck in the entire mesh network. That's all trucks. Every 90 seconds you have a message from everyone and you know where they're all located. Now, we are by no means done with the development on these radios. In fact, we're exploring also some SATCOM solutions that are a little lower cost than your traditional satellite. Um, just in case we run into any other roadblocks with the solution, we want to still bring the capability of tracking all these vehicles to any use case that you might have off-road. Please consider hitting that like button if you're enjoying this project or leave us a comment if you have a question. Given the results that we've had for the last couple field tests and how positive things have gone, it's now time to start talking about building an app that makes all this information in this radio and the location of these trucks useful. Now, I call the app Dirt Tracks. Now, in this app, we're gonna have all the tools that are needed for the ability to connect your radio to the app to get the information, display where everyone is at on the map at any given time, kind of like find your friends, or even show hazards that are marked on the trail by the trail leader, kind of like a off-road version of Waze. So stay tuned for our next video on this channel where we will walk through all the details of the app and show you what it's gonna look like. I'll leave links in the descriptions for some of the equipment and the technology that I'm using in this process. But also, if you want a more technical deep dive, I've been contemplating building a video that goes into a lot more technical detail. Uh, let me know. But otherwise, subscribe to the channel and make sure and leave any comments if you have any questions about this. Hey guys, we're gonna keep this video content rolling, but why wait for the next video? Check out the link here for another video that you can watch to get inspiration on your next upgrade.